Welcome back to our road trip down the Georgia coast where we're finding the best places to stay, best things to do, and yummiest things to eat. Welcome to beautiful Darien, Georgia, second oldest city in Georgia, Oglethorpe's planned city just after Savannah. Come on, let me show you around. If you're struggling to find unique family vacation spots this year, stick around because today is episode six of our Georgia road trip. We're finding the best things to do in Darien today, starting with beautiful, historic Vernon Square. Back in the day, it served as the religious and business center of the city. Darien was founded in 1736 by Scottish Highlanders recruited to protect Georgia from the Spanish in Florida. The park is surrounded by churches, homes, specialty shops, and our B&B of choice. The uniqueness about our chocolates, they're predominantly seashell shaped and they're also infused with fine bits of sea salt toffee. So there's a bit of salt and a bit of crunch. Only two blocks away from Vernon Square, you'll find the small downtown Darien waterfront. The white building to the right is the new Spartina Grill, an upscale restaurant with screened porch dining. There's also a deck for dining as well where you can have views of the water, take a stroll along the boat docks, and enjoy the breeze and the beautiful view. If you continue walking straight on the boat docks on the other side of this bridge, you'll find Skipper's Fish Camp for the freshest, yummiest seafood. I'm here at Fort King George if you love state parks, you will love this one. Take a peaceful drive out to Ashton Tilly Art and Cultural Center. The adventurers can load the ferry to Sapelo Island. Don't miss the smallest church in America in nearby Townsend, Georgia. Find the link in the description with important links and info to all of these things to do in Darien and more. 